Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to my channel, Misha's Mantra. All right, so if you guys are doing like me, you are home a lot more often than you were and you're continuing to do that into the new year. So I thought that this quick DIY, how to create a cropped sweatshirt would be a fun little project that not only you could do with the family, but also use to revamp some of your older sweatsuits, um, especially if you're looking to kind of I don't know, spice some of those old clothing pieces up and it was super easy to do. As you see by the title, it's a no sew because I do not know how to sew. So let's get right into it. First thing that I have up is the elastic band. Um, I got two just in case because I didn't know how it was gonna work exactly. It was my first time trying this. Then I got some heat hemp adhesive. So easy. I used a flat iron to secure it, but you can get an iron. Some fabric scissors. Let me tell you, fabric scissors make the difference. Um, and then I got the sweatshirt. So let's get into what we need to do to make this happen. So guys, as you can see, my shirt had a uh, pocket in the front as most hoodies do. Um, where I wanted to crop was under that. So all I'm doing now is just literally taking the string out and um, removing the pocket. I didn't have to remove it all the way. I just removed it low enough to where when I crop it, um, I'll have room. The crop is gonna be relatively high as you can see from the pictures, but you have to cut it a little bit further down to be able to do the steps that you're gonna see next to have enough room. So as you guys see, I've cropped it now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat. I'm just looking to see, okay, is it long enough? Which it is. Flipped it inside out and then folded the ends, the bottom under or over, I should say. And then on the side, I went ahead and cut a slit and you'll see why that's important to do. So now I'm taking my adhesive I'm gonna cut it up and lay it down and begin to seal it. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, I used a flat iron. I did not feel like pulling out my iron and this works really easy and really quickly. So when you're using and applying that heat, about three to four seconds, you're just simply sealing the hem. Now keep in mind, I put it kind of at the top because I still have a little hole that I'm gonna be able to put the elastic through and you'll see how I do that in a sec. So again, did that on one side, flipped it, now I'm doing it on the other side. And I was so excited how easy this was, y'all. I'm not a crafty person, so I was really surprised how simple this process was. So as I said, we're just gonna be doing the same thing over, just kind of you know heating it up, making sure that it's sealing. And this takes, like I said, three or four seconds, does not take long at all. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm making sure that there is still a hole. And the reason I need that hole is because now I have my elastic, I am putting a safety pin, and now where that slit was, I'm gonna be running it through that slit. Now this, from the other videos I saw looked quick. This takes time. <laughs> so I'm using the safety pin to pull it through the entire sweater um, as far as that hole. This is very similar to how you see a lot of the DIY when they make scrunchies. So I'm just pulling it through the hole to get it to the other end. Does that make sense? Like I've pre-measured this elastic, put a safety pin, and now I'm gonna pull it through the hole to where it creates that gathering that will fall at my waist. Now at this part, I wanna call something out because I think a lot of people don't realize, at this point, you can actually use the safety pin and connect the two elastic ends and actually be pretty much done with it, right? But I did, I know how to do limited sewing, y'all, so I decided to go ahead and sew those two elastic pieces together. But at this point, I just kinda of wanted to show you that if you just wanted to keep put that safety pin, maybe use a smaller one, and um, keep it sealed, you could. And just do it like that, it'd probably work just as well. But I do know how to sew a little bit when it comes to just like connecting two ends. So as you guys see, I'm just threading the needle now. I removed the safety pin, and now I'm just gonna sew those ends together. Kind of making sure that it's like a good secure, it's really attached. Now I have some fabric glue, and where I cut that split, I wanna close that up. Now I have seen some people not close it up, but I'm, this is an old sweatshirt, I'm not really worried about taking it off again. So as you can see, 
I just put the glue there and now I'm gonna hold it and that seals it together. The glue suggests letting it sit for about 24 hours. Um, but I just kind of mash it and I actually did let it sit for a few hours and it was secure. So now you see the finished product. This was a very quick tutorial, you guys. So easy. You can do this on your sweatshirts, your hoodies, just about anything. Some things to keep in mind, as I mentioned, was making sure you want, you know where you want your sweater to fall. As you guys see, I wanted it on the smallest part of my midsection and you see it falls perfectly. When I got the elastic band, I made sure when I wrapped it around my waist, I gave it a little room so it could fit a little bagger, baggier and looser.